Welcome back to our channel, your go-to for all things business education. In today's video, we have some exciting news about Goldman Sachs and its potential breakup with Apple. So, let's dive right in. Goldman Sachs, the renowned investment banking giant, has been making waves in the consumer lending space in recent years. However, it seems that their efforts to expand into the consumer market haven't gone as smoothly as expected. Today, we have some interesting updates about their partnership with Apple. In 2019, Goldman Sachs made headlines by launching an Apple-branded credit card. This innovative product aimed to combine Apple's tech-savvy image with Goldman Sachs financial expertise. It was a significant step for both companies, signaling their entry into the consumer lending market. Additionally, earlier this year, Goldman Sachs introduced a savings account and a buy now pay later service in collaboration with Apple. These initiatives further solidified their partnership and showcased their commitment to diversifying their traditional banking activities. However, Goldman Sachs has faced challenges in their broader consumer efforts, which have raised concerns and criticism. Some experts question the bank's CEO, David Solomon, for deviating from their core competencies. This has led to speculation about the future of their partnerships with tech giants like Apple. Last October, Solomon announced that the partnership between Goldman Sachs and Apple had been extended until 2029. However, recent reports suggest that this relationship might be in jeopardy. According to the Wall Street Journal, Goldman Sachs has been discussing the possibility of moving their Apple offerings to American Express. These discussions have been confirmed by CNBC, although no imminent deal is on the horizon. It's important to note that any changes to the partnership would require Apple's approval. The challenges faced by Goldman Sachs and consumer banking activities are evident. In just three years, the bank reported a loss of approximately $3 billion. This has prompted the bank to explore strategic alternatives in their consumer business. In addition to their Apple partnership, Goldman Sachs may also be considering ending their agreement to offer a General Motors branded credit card. These potential changes mark a significant shift in Goldman Sachs' consumer lending strategy. As of now, no official statements have been released by Goldman Sachs, Apple, or American Express regarding these discussions. However, we will continue to monitor the situation and keep you updated. That's it for today's update on Goldman Sachs and its potential breakup with Apple. What are your thoughts on this development? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more business education content. We'll see you in the next video.